welcome back to another video here at NBA Addict TV where we provide the latest NBA content on the tube. Before we get started, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. We're on the road to 1k subscribers, but look at this. Look at this. I need y'all to hit that subscribe button right now. Right now, hit it. This is my sub count. Let's run it up. Let's run it up. Even though little Jimmy over there didn't hit the sub button because he's a simp. Let's get straight to the video. All right. So Brooklyn went up against the Cavaliers again. But this time, they're without Kevin Durant due to the fact that he played 50 minutes the game before. Yes, 50 minutes on a year where he's recovering from an Achilles injury. Yeah, so he decided to take this game off to rest. But despite being shorthanded this game, it told the same story. Although they still had James Harden and Kyrie Irving. It's clear that this team is in desperate need of a big because DeAndre Jordan is showing his age every game. This man is 32 years old and not what he once was in LA. Listen to this. The Nets were out-rebounded 50 to 29. No exaggeration, 50 to 29. And that's embarrassing considering that the Cavs have the second worst offense in the league, but the Nets lost to them twice in a row. That's a little worrisome. Now, I know it is still early and it's only Kyrie Irving's second game back, but it is clear that he is not taking a back seat to anyone. But is that necessarily a bad thing? For the second game in a row, Kyrie has took the most shots on the team as well as shooting above 50% from the field, although he is shooting 5 of 15 on threes in his first two games. I can't lie, Kyrie has been bowling, but on the other end of the ball, Kyrie began a little buoyed on the defensive end by Colin Sexton. Colin is seeing barbecue chicken when Kyrie is guarding him. I can't front. And we saw this last game as well as Sexton was dumping threes on Kyrie's head. Kyrie and the rest of the Nets team look lost on the defensive end. They lack effort and energy and just completely don't look like they want to play defense at all. When it comes down to rebounding, the Nets starting center, DeAndre Jordan has a combined 8 rebounds in his last 2 games. Andre Jumman had 16 rebounds last night alone. And that tells the entire story for the Nets and why they may crumble when it comes down to the playoffs. And Reggie Perry should not be getting 15 minutes a game to be honest. The man is six foot eight, playing center like Steve Nash. You bugging. Like I said in my last video, I told you guys the solution to the Nets problems. Sean Marks, holla at me, hit me, bruh. You guys need to either pick up a free agent or a player in the G League. And it needs to happen as soon as possible, to be honest with you. Because with or without Kevin Durant, this team needs height on their roster. Rebounding is a serious issue. Because so God help them, if they match up with a team with a decent big, it's gonna go down in the Nets are gonna have some problems and James Harden took 14 shots in both games against the Cavaliers it seems as if Harden is not trying to step on any toes and giving Kyrie the freedom to do his thing which isn't a bad thing considering Kyrie has been really efficient but Brooklyn didn't bring Harden here and get their depth cut for him to be passive that's not gonna work you know what I was thinking you know what the Nets really need right now a guy like Jared Allen <laughs> tell me not and a side note I have some thoughts on Colin Sexton that you're going to want to hear but I will share those in another video make sure you stay tuned it's a banger all right so although the nets have some massive defensive holes in their team i still believe they're going to make it out of the east but if they lose in the finals this year and don't see much improvement to start next season the nets should consider trading kyrie irving for ben simmons and seth curry and i think that trade would be a huge upgrade and benefit both teams greatly now just think about it given the sixers the outside scoring point guard that they desperately need to space the floor for Embiid, and give the nets a defensive playmaker forward in Simmons that can guard all five positions efficiently and with Harden and KD on the floor his lack of having a jump shot will be a non-factor and I know Daryl Morey is dying to get Ben Simmons off his roster and that would also give them the young star for the future after giving away all their picks all right guys with that being said let me know what you guys think of the Brooklyn Nets so far comment down below make sure you leave a like subscribe hit that noti bell to not miss a single video and I'll see y'all next video